Hi, and welcome to your sequence today. This sequence is a chair yoga class, and this is really could be called office break yoga. So if you have a few minutes at your desk, or if you just are like, I just need to feel a little bit more comfortable in my hips, I'm having a hard time sitting for such a long period, you should take the time to make sure that you incorporate a lot of these moves throughout your day, even if it's just for five minutes. So go ahead and grab a nice chair, a stable one. We don't want anything with wheels. We want something that's gonna stay in one spot. I'm gonna be on a stool today so that I can move from side to side if I need to show you the opposite view. If you're on a chair uh, or an office chair that has a back, I suggest coming to sit just on the edge of the chair so that you can be encouraged to sit as tall as possible. If you sit further back and closer to the back of the chair, you're gonna have a bit more rounding and not be able to feel all the extra good benefits. So wherever you're at, grab your chair and let's get started. We're gonna start really simply by just sitting up nice and straight in our chair or stool and have the feet separated about hip width distance apart maybe just a slightly wider, just so you feel like nice and stable and that you're not going to go anywhere in your chair. Again, we're more at the edge of our seat and we're gonna just start here with the hands on the top of the knees, resting gently. Take a nice deep breath in. Feel out that spine from the crown through the tailbone. And then just feel how the neck and shoulders feel today. Are they feeling especially tight? Maybe on every exhale, you can just feel the shoulders just relax down the back just a little bit more. On the next inhale, we're gonna inhale the arms up and come to mountain pose. So the palms of the hands are facing inward. So we're in a seated mountain pose. I'm gonna to swing towards the camera so you can take a look here. And to start off this pose, just to feel the difference in our body, I'm gonna ask you to reach the shoulders up towards the ears. So we're really reaching the fingertips up towards the sky. You can feel the space decrease between the shoulders and the ears, probably feel a little bit of tension in the neck and shoulders. And now let's just draw those shoulders back down and away. So we're still reaching through the fingertips, but now our shoulders are drawn down the back and the shoulder blades are separated just slightly. Still feeling very, very tall. Once more, let's just feel out that difference. Let's draw the shoulder blades up. Feel everything just kind of get a little bit more tight. We're just drawing our ears in like a little turtle. And then let's bring those shoulders back down. Feel the navel draw in for our beautiful and strong mountain pose. And on the next exhale, let's just draw the hands back down towards the knees. I'm gonna swing back towards the side once more. We're gonna inhale the arms up again, coming into our mountain. And from this mountain, we're gonna take just a slight back bend. So palms are still facing together. We're still drawing the navel in, but this time I want you to encourage the chest to lift a little bit more towards the ceiling. Can you bring the upper arms just slightly behind the ears? Draw the thumbs towards the back of the room, keeping this length. Again, the shoulders are still away from the ears. And on an inhale, let's come back to an upright position. Draw the hands back down towards the legs just to give the arms a little bit of a break. You see, we're sitting, but we're still very active in this movements. So now we're gonna take the arms out to a cactus shape. Cactus shape is just like goalpost arms so that the elbows are open wide. And then we're gonna draw the elbows back. You can feel the shoulder blades start to retract, maybe draw in together, almost like you're squeezing a pencil in between the shoulder blades. And then when you're ready, we're gonna draw those forearms together and then tuck the tailbone as we draw in, pressing the forearms together we're tucking ourselves into like a little ball. I'll do that movement from the side and you can take this at your own pace. On an inhale, bring the elbows open, draw the shoulder blades together, 
Exhale, forearms come together. Slightly tuck the tailbone round the upper back and spread the shoulders out wide. And inhale, open cactus arms. Exhale, we'll close it up. Rounding, tucking the tailbone just slightly, keeping the feet firmly planted. Opening up cactus arms. And then exhale, rounding. Awesome. On the next inhale, we'll come up, sit up tall, and then just release the hands back down towards the knees. Moving on to cat and cows in your chair. For cat and cows, it's very similar to how you would do it down on your mat. So on the uh, exhale, we're going to bring the hands to the front of the knees. Use that as kind of a leverage as you tuck your tail. And again, round, curve into the spine. Allow the head to hang heavy. On an inhale, let's bring the hands to the top of the thighs. Elbows are pointing out and lift the chest up towards the sky. So we have to take a little tiny back bend here. Use the pressure of the hands to lift yourself a little bit taller. And then exhale, we'll come into our cat. Rounding over, maybe drawing yourself in a little bit closer by pulling onto the knees. And then on an inhale, let's press into the thighs. Lift the chest up, shine the heart center upward towards the sky, feel broad across the collarbones. And then exhale round. This is our last round. Inhale, lifting up. And then on the exhale, we'll just come back to neutral. From here, we're going to take a few corkscrews and we're going to start in a counterclockwise position. So hands can come so they're again sitting on the top of the thighs. Fingertips are on the inside of the thighs and the elbows are facing out. And from here, we're just going to push back and round into the spine as we move laterally towards the right. And then as we come towards center, feel yourself come into this cow position. We're opening up through the chest. And then as we come to the back and to the left again, we start to round and tuck the tailbone. So it's kind of this coffee grinder position. You can take it at your own pace as you move towards the back and you round, you exhale just like you would in cat. And as you come forward to the front, you would take your inhale. Let's take two more in this direction. really feeling it out. Keep your feet planted. We want to make sure that they're staying in one spot. And as you come back forward, we'll come back into a neutral position. We'll follow this up with a cobra pose. So if you have a back to your chair, you can use that. I'm going to use the very back edge of my stool, but coming again, make sure you're on the edge of your chair. We're going to start to lean back, maybe grab the back edges of the seat of your chair or taking the very back panel of uh, the chair. You can also wrap your hands around that. Start to draw the shoulders down, lift the chest up. At the same time, you can also start to lean forward just slightly and you'll feel an even deeper stretch across the front of the chest and throughout the shoulders. Maybe take the gaze upward. If you feel any strain on the neck, you can certainly keep a neutral position and just look straight ahead. Take an inhale and then exhale. We're going to release, come back to a neutral position. We'll take those coffee grinders in the opposite direction. So this time going clockwise, hands are on the top of the thighs and the fingertips are facing inward. And let's just start rotating the torso, really feeling it out and pausing anywhere that you feel uh, any spots that maybe need just a little bit extra time. Inhale as you come forward, exhale as you lean back, tucking the tailbone. We'll take one more. And then returning to our neutral position. From here, we're going to take a twist. So the right hand comes to the outside of the left thigh, and then the left arm can come back behind you. And then 
Again, adjust your position. If you do have a very tall back on your chair, you might need to have your arm just on the outside of it, but you can also use that as a little bit of a leverage and push your arm into the back side of the chair and feel yourself open up a little bit more into your chest. Maybe the gaze comes to the back of the room. Pressing that right hand to the outside of the thigh. And then we're gonna come back to face the center and also to face the front of the room. From here, let's lift that left leg up so that it's extended. So now our right heel is pushing out and this is gonna be active. We're not just trying to lift up with our quad. We're gonna also push out through that left heel, really push like we're trying to kick something with the heel and now point the toes. Again, use that energy, feel that energy drive through the leg so you actually feel your leg almost shaking as you're doing this position. And then press out through the heel once more, point the foot, press out through the heel and point the foot. Very good. Keep that leg lifted and we're going to keep pressing through the heel. We have a flex foot position here. The left hand can stay on the left hip. Let's lift that right arm up towards the sky. Sit up nice and tall. This is like a balancing table pose, only we are seated. Very, very active into that right leg, lifting up through the right fingertips. Take an inhale, and then when you're ready, we're going to take the hands and draw that left knee into the chest. Anjane Asana, but in a chair. So drawing it into the chest, giving that leg a nice big squeeze. Now we're gonna have a little bit of a challenge, and this is actually, I think, harder seated than if we were to do this in a standing pose. But I want you to keep the knee lifted and drawn in, feel that compression, and then let go of the hands. Can you lift the hands up to the sky and keep that left knee lifted? You're gonna really feel this in the hips. Sit up nice and tall, double check to make sure you're not rounding through the back. And then we won't make you hold that too long, but let's cross that left leg over the right. So legs are crossed. You can also take the double wrap for eagle legs if you can get the bind there. Again, we're gonna come into a twist, take the right hand to the outside of that left thigh, gaze towards the back of the room, and then unwind. This time we're going to take our eagle arms, Bring the right arm out to a 90 degree shape, and then the left arm will come underneath and wrap, maybe once, maybe twice, bringing the palms of the hands together. Checking to the end of the shoulders, we're gonna allow the shoulders to relax down the back, and then lift the elbows up. So shoulders down, but elbows up, holding our eagle arms. And exhale. Slowly unwind the arms and then unwind the legs, but we're gonna keep that left ankle on the top of the right thigh for our seated figure four or seated pigeon pose. And this, again, this is something you can do any time during the day and try to open up into your hips a little bit more deeply. You can certainly stay seated up nice and tall or you can start to hinge forward at the hips. At the same time, maybe press into the top of that left inner thigh slightly, and you're gonna feel a little bit more opening into the left hip. Remember to keep breathing. And when you're ready, let's sit up nice and tall. Separate the legs and you can plant the left foot down onto the earth. From here, we're going to take a couple of lateral side bends. So allow the left hand to hang down beside your chair. Maybe if you feel more comfortable, you can also take a hold of the seat and lift the right arm up towards the sky and we're gonna side body lean over towards the left. As we do so, feel those right fingertips reach, reach, reach out long. Allow the chest 
to rotate slightly so that you're getting more, imagine more sunshine hitting the center of your chest. And then also, even though I know we're seated, we're gonna feel like that right hip is nice and heavy and pulling down towards the earth. You can also take that left hand and draw it to the outside of the right thigh if that feels good. On the next inhale, let's come back up to center. We'll bring the right hand down and we'll take that same side body lean over towards the left. So lifting the left hand up and over, reaching with the fingertips. Maybe take the right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Again, we're gazing up if it feels good, but we wanna keep this rotation in the chest so that we're getting that little bit of sunlight feeling wide across the center of the chest, keeping that left hip heavy so we're not just completely falling into the right side. And then on the inhale, we'll come back and up through neutral. Very, very good. We're gonna take that whole sequence onto the opposite side. So this time we're going to twist to the right, bring the left hand to the outside of the right, or th right thigh, and then draw the right hand arm back behind you, maybe gazing towards that right hand. Holding here. Feel the fingertips reach towards the back of the room, opening through the front side of that right shoulder. Enjoying this beautiful twist. And then coming back towards center. From here, we're gonna take those leg extensions on the right side. So let's push and extend that right leg out, pushing the heel out into the front of the room, almost like there's a wall in the front of that right foot. And we really wanna activate into the back side of that right leg by pushing into the right heel. And now we're gonna point the right toes. Again, using some effort. So we're not just going through the motions here. We're actually very, very much active pushing into those uh, into the toes and feeling the quad activate. Now let's push into the heel. Return back to pointing the toes. Again, flexing the foot. And we'll point the toes once more. and then flex the foot, keep the right leg lifted. I'm guessing your leg is getting quite tired. You can bring the right hand to the right hip. And we're gonna lift that left hand up towards the sky, sitting nice and tall, doing our balancing table pose, but seated and holding here for three, two, and one. Amazing, let's draw that right knee into chest. Our challenge isn't over yet. We're just pulling our knee in, and this is where it gets a little bit tough on those hip flexors. We're gonna try to keep that knee drawn into the chest, but release the hands. So lifting that knee up, sitting up nice and straight, but keeping the arms up, we're gonna pull them up towards the sky. Keep that knee in, feel that compression, really working the abs here. And when you're ready, we're going to draw that right knee over the left. Oh, that feels good to cross the legs. You can either cross once or cross twice for our eagle legs. And then draw that left arm down to a 90 degree position. And then we'll bring the right arm underneath, maybe wrapping it once maybe wrapping it twice, and then bring the palms of the hands together. Check the shoulders. We don't want them itching up towards our ears. Bring the shoulders down, but then bring the elbows back up. So you have this wonderful opposition in legs and the arms, drawing the belly in, sitting up nice and tall. And when you're ready, we'll release the arms, we'll release the bind of the legs, but bring the right ankle to the top of the left thigh for our seated figure four. Starting nice and tall, check so that you feel very stable here, keep the right foot flexed, and maybe if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, we're going to start to bend at the hips and maybe even put a little bit of pressure to the inside of that right inner thigh so that you can open up into the, the hips more deeply.
And when you're ready, we're going to lift up. Place that right foot back on the floor. Open the feet out widely so they're maybe about as wide as your or my, or your they're as wide as your mat or uh, just a bit more than your hip width distance because maybe you're at the office and you don't have your mat rolled out like I do today. But from here, we're going to come into a forward fold and start to close out our nice chair practice today. So now the torso comes right in between the legs and we just allow everything to hang heavy. You can even have the palms facing up so we're not trying to pull ourselves or force anything to happen here, just letting it all hang loose. Don't worry if you have a nice stable chair, you shouldn't fall off your chair. But one last position just to melt and to feel everything release. Using our time wisely in the workday, if you feel better, you think better. If you move more freely, it can aid into more creative thinking. Even while we were seated, we were still able to work into our hips, our center for creativity. Take one more deep breath here. Then on the inhale, we're gonna use the hands to help bring ourselves back to an upright position. Hands can come to rest at the top of the legs, maybe just gently closing the eyes. And if you want, before you fully open the eyes, maybe just take a big stretch, opening up the arms, reaching for the back of the room. And slowly open the eyes, ready to embrace the rest of your day, feeling a little bit more recharged, feeling like you can get more accomplished and make every minute count. I hope you enjoyed this practice. If you did, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe for new practices, practices every single week on this channel. Have a great day. Make it a good one. Bye.